is. I mean, you've been in an amazing stretch here with, you know, two already top 20 teams, and now you're facing two more going up against Louisville. And we've discussed, you know, they're a team that <clears throat> is very hungry because they don't have a postseason. This is it for them, so that probably makes them maybe more hungry. Do you see it that way? How do you see this next game? Um, I think that's the way they play, first of all. They're always, you know, on attack mode. They're always trying to press you and, you know, make the game ugly and dirty. But, you know, I don't really think it has anything to do with not having a postseason. Um, I feel the same way. You know, that, that's what kind of team they are. They're going to press you. You know, they want to force you to turn the ball over. So, I mean, our game plan is not going to change from any other team. You know, we're going to try to go out there and execute. You know, little things and try to win the game. How does, how does it impact say, your game when you see a play, another player step up and hit like, like Damon the other night? Just knowing that, okay, I'm, he's on his game, I've got him as an option. How does that impact? Um, well, well, first, I've always said that this team has a lot of weapons. Um, I think. You know, you see the, you see it in different games. Different guys step up. Um, you know, I think Sheldon is capable of um, potentially scoring more points per game. But um, you know, how, however you want to put it, I see it as we have other guys that will step up in different days. And as Dave Henry stepped up last game, um, we at the time I guess we didn't need Sheldon to to have a 20 plus point game to win. And that's a, that's a compliment to our team um, because it gives us a lot of, you know, in a way we could afford to be confident in one another rather than just put a lot of pressure on ourselves. Sheldon, how's your, how's your ankle? The coach said you're not quite, he doesn't think you're 100%. You're still playing well, but you're not all the way there. Um, I'm 100% now, my ankle right. is healed. Um, I'm still icing it. I'm trying to get it stronger. So I've been doing stretches and, you know, treatment and things like that. But I'm fine, 100%. Sean, can you talk about how you think you've improved as a player, you know, starting off at Texas and, and where you're at now? Um, I just put in a lot of work. Um, when I first transferred here, obviously, I put in more work than I did at Texas. Um, I think I just have the right group of guys around me. The coaching staff really put a lot of time in with me during my year off. So I think that's where a lot of, you know, a lot of this work paid off. Can you have a coach Larnega has been able to turn you guys around from, I mean, just the coaching job that he's done with after the loss at North Carolina that you guys were able to come back and do what you did. And he seems to have a real good pulse on the team on where you guys are emotionally and physically. And can you sort of assess his coaching job this year so far? Um, coach has more experience than probably probably all of us combined at this level, you know? So um, I'm not quite sure if he's been in, in this specific position before, but he's been through so much um, that, you know, he does a great job of just keeping calm, keep, keeping us confident rather than, you know, stressing over a game. I know it, it was bad. I know um, we wish it would have went, you know, we would have played better, um, but at the end of the day, it's not over. We still, we still in a position to potentially win the ACC. Um, right now, we just depend on Carolina losing, really. But besides that, it was just a huge win for the program. I mean, Virginia was ranked um, three in the country, so um, as we always say, we we just couldn't let one loss become um, two. Sheldon, can you talk about, I know one of the reasons you came here was for Coach Larnaga and the way he teaches and all that, the, the approach that he takes compared to what the experience you had in Texas. And what has he done for you as a player and how do you think he's coached the team this year? Um, he's a great guy, I would say. I wish I could come back next year, honestly. Um, like I always say, he just gives me a lot of confidence. You know, if I, if I miss two shots in a row, he believes I'm going to make the third one. Um, he always tells me to keep shooting. And as a player, that's something that you, you know, you wish for in college. Um, you know, some players don't get that, that opportunity where the coaches want you to have a main priority. He wants you to just shoot. So I'm very thankful that he has a lot of confidence in me and 
think he's done a great job, obviously, coaching the team. Um, always giving people, you know, positive outlooks on the game, whether you, you know, turn the ball over or not. He's always make you feel comfortable on court. Um, honestly, um, I just try to, I really go for layups, to be honest, but obviously, depending on how much time is left, I want to get, you know, closer and closer to the basket where I can, you know, be able to shoot a long three, because I, I mean, I can't shoot from out there, but obviously not with one hand, but, you know, I guess it's just, you know, some hard work paying off, luckily, I guess, but uh, it's just, I try to get the ball down as fast as I can. You don't have to practice shooting like that, right? I mean, you got two of them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we practice half court shots um, before every home game, honestly. Um, me, Angel, Davon, I mean, the whole team, really. But um, I don't know. They're just going in right now, so I might just keep shooting them. <laughs> when did you see the clock? Um, I looked up with about two seconds left, and I kind of took a Euro step, and Brogdon kind of closed out on me, so I couldn't really shoot the, the regular three-point I had, so I just shot a floater.